Hey everyone, I'm Jason Galka, and we are here at the Waldorf Astoria this evening for the 26th Annual GLAAD Awards. What does GLAAD mean to you? GLAAD is an organization that, it, you know, that is celebrating the work that uh, the leaders of this community. I find that GLAAD is one of our advocates um, unflagging every year uh, in Washington especially doing the hard work of lobbying for our lights and, and getting the work done that actually happens behind the scenes. Glad for me is like a safe haven. It's like where I call home, like knowing that I can always, like they're one phone call away and they're always kind of there supporting. I think it's really important for us to be here because we're in the media and Glad has always been behind us. And you know, it's the kind of thing where you look back and you think, wow, Glad has been a part of so many important things for the gay community. It's honestly, nobody else can touch it. It's a wonderful journey for our community and our culture. It, it just gives you more of a reason. It gives, it gives you a, something to stand for. My career is going to be protected and curated by people like GLAAD. GLAAD is an organization that helps protect LGBT um, supporting shows and individuals and helps make sure that their stories are authentically told so that it can promote a more positive image of the LGBT community. And I think it's organizations like this that help us get to be in the positions that we are in and so it's really our job to to be a face of that and sort of show other people that you can you know make something of your life and be out there in the world and being yourself and being in media. As we understand that people, including LGBT people, should be looked at on the basis of their individual quality, not on whether or not they're LGBT. I respect groups that are telling stories and that are setting platforms to tell stories and to support uh, those that unfortunately may feel like they're isolated or segregated from society. Having a family and uh, uh, supporting each other, you know, when you don't have that person in your family or that particular friend, GLAD is here for you. You know, just because it's so important, and we were just talking a little bit ago, me in sports, the sports world, we see it as an issue that athletes feeling like they can't be themselves and be honest about who they are, right? We've started to have a few more stories, obviously, this year where that's come to the forefront, but it still hasn't, I think, become accepted in terms of the athlete culture. The big thing is, is telling parents, um, I'm a success story. I have food, shelter, water, and validation. This is something that your child can obtain no matter how they orgasm, no matter how they look, and no matter what they do. I was criticized for being too feminine, and I think that's an issue that still exists in the fashion industry today. Bullying is a serious epidemic here in America, and I'm here to body slam that. It means a lot. You know, I grew up in a small farm town. I couldn't point at TV and say I can grow up and be like that. And then when I moved to LA and got, got on TV, my first Glad Awards I went to with a friend as a plus one and we sat way back in the back of the table and I looked around and I was so inspired by the people in the room and I thought one day you're going to work hard enough to get up there. You're here and you're walking the blue carpet tonight. That's got to be amazing for you. That's right. And um, I, I, really want, I, I really want people to know that they can do it too. And they don't have to be afraid. So tell us a little bit about the show. It's coming back in July for the second season. What can we expect as viewers? Well, John and Rob and I, we all create these sort of really fun moments in people's lives. They come to us and they have not deficiencies, but they're, they're, they're lacking energy in certain places. Maybe their, their room needs a little help. Maybe their clothes need a little help. Maybe they don't know how to boil water. Honestly, this is one of the best things about the show. Um, it's sort of gender, sexuality neutral. We deal with straight guys, gay guys, gay girls, the whole gamut. And uh, the point is, it's not that hard to add a some kind of fabulous twist to whatever you're doing that day. Yeah, we have the best time together. We became really good friends on season one, so literally it's us all the time, even outside when the cameras are off. We're hanging out, we're buddies, and we just work really well together. But you have Straight Talk, which is doing really well, your yes. podcast, I love it. It's on the internet now. For straight Talk free, Straight Talk with Ross Matthews. We get the biggest stars in the world. People call in, I give advice, I'm like Dr. Laura, but higher pitched. Judith Light and, and Jeffrey Tambor. Both are in Transparent. What a great show. Love it. It's up for awards tonight. How does that feel? It feels pretty fantastic. It's right. really yeah. fabulous. Um, I actually have been a part of GLAAD from the actual very early days when we used to do, we had a, a GLAAD, we had the GLAAD Awards in, in Los Angeles and we were in a tiny hotel ballroom. I mean, tiny. I love Something like this. Ten tables of people. 
And so it, we have come a long way. So to be here tonight and get to do this with Jeffrey it's is huge. just huge. It's huge. We're, and, and we are being hosted by uh, Jenny Boylan, oh. who helped me so much on uh, meeting Maura Pfefferman that uh, she was my, uh, I read all her books. We had a great meeting in the Algonquin and she led me uh, to the role and the responsibility. You have a brand new movie coming out next year, The Accountant. Congratulations. Thank you. How do you know that? Boy, you did. I do my homework. What was your struggle like to come out? Because I know that all of us that have come out, we've all had personal struggles, some more than others. What was it like for you? Um, being in country music, it was just full of fear. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a country artist, um, and I'll always be a country artist. So my biggest fear was that I wouldn't be able to tour and, and make records and do music within my own community. And I was really wrong about that.